is, is basically his, what we worked on in practice was uh, you know how how to close a game out and what that means in terms of execution and, uh, and they, they went out and did you know they, they set solid screens they spaced the floor they moved the ball onto each other got good shots and they, uh, they played great defense so really a great uh, response to what was a, a tough night the other Steve, along those lines, you, t you sort of touched on it, but the guys were jumping in the passing lane, still pushing the ball and pushing that score forward, even when, when you had a you know a nice lead there. I mean, how, yeah. how much was that energy right down to the very end important? Yeah, the energy was good, and uh, I thought our bench came in and did a really good job. Um, you know, Omari and Marquise have um, really become kind of a nice tandem together. Um, some of it came about because um, of the, the lack of depth in our lineup I mean, we had to play them together. So uh, early in the season, we were, we, we were really playing Omari solely as a five. And now playing those two guys together, they complement one another really well. And I thought they both uh, played fantastic uh, basketball tonight. So uh, Kai and Jordan also came in and gave, gave us good minutes. So, uh, having having Draymond back was a big deal. He settled us down, and uh, having nine instead of eight, it matters. You know, you just uh, you have more to, more to work with and more options. I feel like you maybe found something with that lineup. You, you pose with his four six six guys and Spellman, who's you know kind of he's not a true center. It's really kind of you know, almost five wings. Yeah, yeah. Mike calls it the jumbo lineup. Mm -hmm. Call it the wishbone. I don't know what we've got going out there. Um, but when when Kai's not on the floor and we just got uh, you know all those all those wings together, um, we sort of share the point guard duties. I mean, Draymond runs the team, but but Alec handles the ball some too, and Omari steps out and shoots threes and spaces the floor. So it's it's really an interesting group, uh, very unorthodox, but uh, they've they played some good minutes here. Coach, talk, Coach, you talked about Amari. What have you seen from his rebounding just um, throughout the season, specifically, specifically offensively? Well, he's just got a nose for the ball. He's have, have given us that consistency uh, with their scoring and leadership. And, uh, both guys have been huge for us. And it's really fun to watch them uh, because they're, you know, they're both pros. They've been, uh, they've been around long enough to know the league, but this is a great opportunity for them to uh, to, to really improve their their careers. They've got plenty of years ahead of them. And, uh, they're really seizing the opportunity that they, they have here, so it's exciting. Coach, what did you do to your hand? And please be specific. <laughs> it's a mere flesh wound. Can you explain what happened? I broke a quick one. It's one of, one of two. I, I'm, I'm uh, allotted two a year. And, uh, this was, no, this was number one. So, and then cut your hand? Yeah, it always cuts in the same place. But <laughs> this was a little deeper when I was a little more upset. Will you miss any time? No stitches. I'm day to day <laughs> at this point. <laughs> no stitches? No stitches yet. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we'll see tomorrow. Did you, had, you had a towel on you were, I did, it kept bleeding. Yeah. So you were, so you were drawing up the place. Did you get blood on that? I did. There was blood on the clipboard. Blood on the clipboard. Yeah, that may be, maybe that should be the headline. <laughs> 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 blood on the clipboard. We'll handle the headlines. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys don't like the headlines. You always use that excuse when we complain about the headlines. Would you? What play uh, got you so upset? Do you uh, we just had a stretch there where we were very careless, uh, particularly in transition defense, um, and we let them sneak behind us for like, Those are cardinal sins, you know. And, and uh, you know we're. Three, three and fifteen coming into the game, you know. So every play matters, every possession matters, and, and you got to fight for everything. And, um, and I thought our guys did a great job of that down the stretch, and, and uh, deserved to, to feel good about about the game. And uh, I'm really happy for them. Is Omari playing it the way that you think is ideal for him? Is he still ways to go? I mean, where do you think he? Can I don't really know what his weight is. I know that his condition is good, and that's the main thing. So um, he was he was too heavy when he came into camp, but he did a great job of um, 
getting himself in, in better condition, losing some weight. Um, I don't know that there's an optimal uh, number for him, but you know he played 24 minutes tonight, and I, th I think he played the whole fourth quarter and held up really well. So he's done a great job of uh, getting in better condition. See, what does it mean to have some of those veterans on the bench? You know, that play, you know, play is almost like a cheerleader. Steph was out there the other night. Yeah. I mean, how important is that to the young guys to see the great veterans on there? Yeah, they need they need the, the guidance and the leadership. And uh, tonight was great. The energy from Steph and, and uh, D'Angelo, <coughs> Clay. Um, there was a there was a, a really good energy on the bench. So um, it, was, it was nice. All right. Thanks, everybody. We plan on bringing uh, Spellman, Pascal, and Chris in here.